there, friends. It's Ashley here from The Loopy Lamb and TheLoopyLamb.com. And today we're going to be taking a look at a new yarn line from We Crochet and Knit Picks called Heatherly. So I've got three different colors here. I've uh, already got some swatch, a swatch here I'm going to show to you. And we're going to talk about... Um, the care instructions for this yarn as well. So if you're ready to get started, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to this channel. So you guys know I love, love, love to try new yarn. So I couldn't wait to get my hands on some of this Heatherly yarn from We Crochet because I'm going to be doing a design with this. And I was really surprised when I got this yarn. And I'll tell you why in just a minute. But um, let's go through the yarn label information before I get too excited and blur blab everything about this yarn up front. So Heatherly is available in two different weights. I have the worsted weight here, but it also comes in a sport weight. There are 12 different colors available. All of the colorways are a muted type pastel -y colorways. They are very pretty colorways and I am really really hoping that they're going to come out with some modern bright bold colors because as somebody who prefers to stay away from the standard pastels for baby projects I would love to see some brighter colors available for this yarn. Now um, as I said I have the worsted weight here. This is a 80% acrylic, 20% merino yarn blend, and the it is a heathered colorway. The white, you know, it's just plain white, but the gray and the blue are heathered. This blue kind of reminds me of a worn denim, and I really love it. Um, this color is called Atmosphere. This is Gravity, and this one I think is called Snowflake. <laughs> Uh, the recommended hook size for this is a six millimeter or J10 hook. And for knitters, it, they recommend a size five through seven needle, which I believe is 3.75 to four and a half millimeters, if I'm remembering correctly. For your gauge information, they think that you'll be able to get 16 single crochets in a four inch swatch with that six millimeter hook and four and a half stitches to a one inch swatch with those recommended needle sizes. Now, I did find that there was a bit of a discrepancy in the care instructions, and that's why I mentioned it up front that we're going to be talking about that, because I'm sure I'm not the only person that had this question. So I picked up this yarn because it's recommended, it's being marketed as a baby yarn, and, you know, I really wanted to try it anyways, but um, it intrigues me because it says it's like machine washable and dryable on the website. So I got it. I was like, this is great. I really love when companies make sure that, you know, the care matches the recipient that they're marketing the yarn for. And then when I got the yarn, the label says hand wash and dry flat. And I was very confused. I was like, did I get the wrong yarn? But no, it was the right yarn. So I went to the website and I double checked that I, you know, wasn't hallucinating when I ordered it. And it was, it does say that machine wash and dry. But what I had missed was that there is a note on the side of the site um, under the description that says that the mill that makes this yarn for them recommends that the yarn should be hand washed and dried flat. But it does say that it can be wa machine washed and tumble dried without shrinkage and felting. Um, so that's where the discrepancy was. And of course, I'm not just going to be like, well, let's toss this in the dryer, guys. It's totally fine. No, I'm going to check this out for myself and see exactly what happens. So I have my swatch already. I've, I'm going to talk about the swatch, what it looks like and how, what crocheting with it was like. And then I'm going to pause my video, pop this swatch into the machine. And then I'm going to come back and tell you what exactly happened. And, you know, should we actually be chucking this in the wash or not? Because if I'm a big, big believer that if I'm making something for a new mom, I know how hard that is to be a new mom and you really don't want to be taking any time to hand wash anything. And that's if you even have the remaining brain power to remember to hand wash anything. So we're going to do that experiment as well. So when I did, here's my swatch. Let's get the right side out here. 
And I did mine with a six millimeter hook as recommended. Now the, I had no issues. There was no splitting. It was a delight to work with. I really, and really enjoyed this yarn. The only issue that I had, and I don't blame the yarn for this, was that I used this uh, brand new furl um, metal streamline, I think they're called. It's totally, it's like, a, I just call it the chrome hook. It's a beautiful hook. It's very slick. And because it's so slick, combined with the softness of the yarn, I was just flying through my stitches. And um, that was causing some of, sometimes the yarn to fall off of the hook. So um, sometimes you need to change your hook to match, to, to work with your yarn, right? Because for instance, like a bamboo type yarn, um, I personally find works better with a yarn that's got a little more grip to it. So something like a plastic hook or even a wood hook. I have a set of um, hooks someone made for me and they have a little more grip. And I use that with all of the silkier type yarns because I just find that it's more enjoyable to crochet that way. So I followed my own advice and I switched up my hook. And I switched to a streamline swirl here. This is, I don't, Andromeda maybe. I don't remember all the names, but anyways, I switched to this six millimeter hook and there was no longer a problem. The rest of my swatch crocheting was perfectly fine. And I ended up with this um, perfectly good swatch. So I started with single crochet stitches. I worked my way into half some half doubles. And at the top here is the double crochet. This is the back, just in case. Some people have asked to see the back of the swatches, but there's the back. And um, overall, really, really enjoyable. I really, really like this yarn. Um, I just wish it had, it did come in bright, like brighter colors. So maybe, fingers crossed, maybe they'll do that in the future. But overall, really enjoyable. And I've taken some measurements of the swatch because the We Crochet website says that I should be able to wash this and dry it without shrinkage or any sort of felting. So I'm going to pause my video here. I'm writing down my measurements. I'm going to even take a picture of the swatch beforehand to make sure that I don't misremember what it looked like. And then we're going to uh, come back and we're going to talk about the washing experience and what happened. Okay, so let's pause that and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back with my freshly washed swatch and we do have a lot more drape now that it's washed, which is to be expected. And it's still very soft. The There was some shrinkage, however. Uh, I did just, I threw it in with a normal load of laundry through the washer and the dryer and we did lose about a quarter of an inch on both width and length. So there was some shrinkage by throwing it into the machine. There's no felting or anything like that. So technically, yes, it could be machine washed. Um, I would machine wash it only if it was for like a baby blanket where the size isn't super important. But if it were something like a garment, you want to make sure that you're washing your swatch before you take your gauge and start crocheting your sweater because you need to account for that shrinkage beforehand. So it can it can be machine washed and dried. You just have to make sure that you're accounting for the shrinkage. Okay, so uh, that was that. So that's it for me today, friends. If you enjoyed this review, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to this channel. If you're interested in checking out Heatherly, I have included an affiliate link in the description below for those of you that might be interested in checking out this yarn. I do have a full written review of this yarn on my website if you'd like to check that out. And that includes a listing of free patterns uh, that would work well with this yarn, as well as some other yarns that have already, uh, sorry, patterns that have already been released designed with this yarn. So you can check those out at theloopylam.com. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing. If you enjoy free crochet patterns, please check out my blog, theloopylam.com. Thanks so much for watching friends. Happy hooking and I'll see you next time.